In this video, I'm going to show you how you can write for any niche, any website without knowing anything about it by simply having a quick conversation with the owner, understanding what they want to rank for, and then giving them a really highly personalized article using ChatGPT custom instructions. Let's get into the video. So the first thing you want to do when you start working with a new client, or if you come into a business as an SEO, whatever it might be, is you want to ask what kind of keywords they want to rank for. This can sometimes just be found by looking at their um, products like here. Let's say that they've got, they've got products, but probably the best thing to do is to ask them what kind of keywords do you actually want to rank for? So in this video, I'm going to pretend that this business, which I do write for, wants to write an article about jeans, okay? But I'm gonna come in from the perspective that I know nothing about this business and I'm gonna show you how I am currently writing for any niche. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna control C their domain and then go to Google and then you wanna do site their domain and then in text jeans. What this will do is it will give you some interesting pages that maybe you would have had to normally have done some manual research and these can be some internal link ideas. So what you can actually do here, the, 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 the way I tried to do this at first was with Harper AI, but instead what I've done is I've written a um, bookmarklet, which basically when I click this button right here, it says links copy to clipboard. Now I'll leave that in the description, but you can also just ask ChatGPT to make one for you. It's super, super easy. Just say no to install one of these. You right click and you go to bookmark manager and then you gotta add a new bookmark. So right click like here, add new bookmark. Name can be anything. And then you just put the code, which I will leave in the description right here. It won't, it'll have to be on a link in the description because uh, YouTube doesn't let you put this in the description of videos. So just bear that in mind, it'll have to be a link, otherwise I can't show you. So then we're gonna control V and you can see that's exactly what it's done. It's copied loads and loads of these pages. Now, a lot of these are products, but as long as there are some collections here, then we should be good. So there are some blogs, there are some collections, etc. But, you know, maybe, okay, yeah, there's a good amount of collections. This is This is fine. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these. Well, the first thing I'm going to remove these because you know they're just not needed. And then I'll delete these rows. Delete rows. Thank you. And then do control F and then these three dots and then find HTTPS uh, colon slash slash two men dot it. Obviously replace this with whatever website you're writing for and then press apply and then press done. So now we have some good internal links that we can work with. However, some of these will be duplicates, okay? So we're gonna go on ChatGPT and we're gonna remove some duplicates basically. But first I'm gonna to go to my custom instructions, make sure they're turned off. And then I'm gonna control V this. And at the very top, I'm gonna to say, can you give me six to 10 internal links that are completely unique for an article about um, best Italian, uh, best jeans brands. So for now, we're just going to work with best jeans brands, but I'm going to give all this information to ChatGPT and it's going to choose the title. Okay. I'm just going to give the uh, keyword best jeans brands and then we're going to hit enter. And this will hopefully just give me six uh, to 10 decent internal links here. Okay. I'm going to press stop generating here. I'm just going to say, can you just give me the links and stop asking around? <laughs> Sometimes you gotta be a bit harsh with chat GPT, I swear. Oh, come on, what are you doing? So it's almost like a comedy moment here. Like sometimes chat GPT is just so annoying. So I said, give me the list. It started like, give me the list plus, you know, this, which I just don't need. So I said, can you just give me the links? And it started using chat interpreter. Oh, I guess that would have worked to be fair. I got a little impatient. I said, just give me the links normally like this one, two, let's try to use chat interpreter again. This said, stop using code interpreter. There we go. Okay. So now we have 10 highly kind of personalized internal links. And I can tell you from my experience, these five right here are perfect. Okay. Now, Kitan jeans is missing and that is quite a big one for us. So, I mean, that does show that, you know, sometimes you need to know a little bit more about a business and it's really, really important to ask if there's like a specific brand they want to rank for. But other than that, these five uh, collections are perfect. There's also a blog and then there's products. So, you know, this is absolutely fine, even though for us personally, Kitan is very, very important. So... Okay, so now we've done that part, we now need to create a custom instruction for the business. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave one of my custom instructions in the description. I'm gonna show you exactly how I produced a new custom instruction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paste this here like that. Which is my custom instruction, okay? And I will leave this in the description. It's in the description of loads and loads of my videos, okay? So let's just get rid of this part right up to here because all of this is irrelevant to this particular business. And then, well, I'm not really because it's the same business, but <laughs> we'll ignore that. So we'll say these are the internal links here. Here are the internal links. And then we're going to say, this is an example of a custom instruction. Can you write another one for my business, which is called Two Men Luxury? Okay, so this is kind of confusing. I picked a bad example writing about my own website or the website that I work for, but this is the basic thing. I say, this is an example of a custom instruction for chat GPT which you don't know about yet, but is a way to give context to chat GPT before having it write something. Can you write another one for my business, which is called Two Men Luxury? And then what I do is I go to the about us of the, whichever company I'm writing for. And this is working really, really well. We are writing, I'm writing for a few different companies right now. And uh, this is how I'm doing it basically. So our about us page is pretty trash to be honest with you. So it doesn't have that much information. But we will just include that information um, and hopefully the company that you're writing for doesn't have <laughs> someone like me who's too lazy to write a good about us section. Uh, and then we'll say here's their about us page like that. And then here's the example custom instruction. And then we'll actually just delete the here are the internal links because we're just going to include that after. Okay, so like I said, this is kind of a weird example because I used one custom instruction to write another custom instruction, but it was already about the same company. But it should give you something pretty good, something like this. And you just need to adapt this to whichever business you are writing for. But now we have, here are the internal links. Okay, so now we have our first custom instruction and we can put this inside. So I'm going to press a new chat here and we'll go to custom instructions. It might be too long, we'll find out. So each one, each website that I work for, this is the first thing I do, okay? And then we're just gonna grab this one here and I'll leave this inside the, um, inside the description as well. You can change this again, depending on what you want, but this is just how I am doing it right now. This works for pretty much anything. You don't necessarily have to change this unless you want it to respond in a specific way. So now I'm gonna press save. And now I'm gonna say, uh, think of a good title uh, slash angle for, I don't know, is that how you spell angle? Yeah. For a um, blog about best jeans brands. Use the context I have given you and write a compelling, clickable, clickable SEO optimized article. This is kind of what I've been doing recently and I'm just pressing enter and it should just start with an H1. There we go. And this is why I think this is so good. And no point, I don't think, let me just double check. I don't think I said use, write about specifically Italian. So obviously, yeah, it's taken the context that we are a company that sells Italian jeans, which is what I'm trying to explain to you in this video. This is why it's so powerful. You can write about anything, any niche, literally just anything, and it will write an article with the context around it because of custom instructions. Now, another thing I did want to talk about as well in this video is that you can also do this with ChatGPT 3.5. I'm pretty sure this is using ChatGPT 4. Yes, it is. But you can also just use ChatGPT 3.5. So let's just, um, let's wait for this to finish. But you can see just how good this article is, right? The ultimate guide to the creme de la creme of jeans, 2023s. You could even change this to 2024 because it is getting on a bit now. Best Italian designer brands. And I would recommend, I always do this, recommend giving your content just a once through, but to be honest with you, you're probably not going to find that much that you want to change because this is super, this is just a really, really good way to, to do this. So this is adding context to a company that you might not know anything about. And this is just a super, super good way to write 
four different businesses. Now, one thing it's done here, which is annoying, is it's doubled up the internal link. I personally wouldn't, I would personally go through this and remove any duplicate internal links, or you can just press copy here, take it onto the playground or whatever, um, or you can just use ChatGPT and you can say remove any um, instances after the first internal link of a duplicate internal link. Do not change anything else. So that will probably do that. I'm not going to. I guess I could check, but uh, that's one way to do it. You can also just use ChatGPT normally. Now let's give the exact same prompt to ChatGPT 3.5 and see the difference, but just make sure you don't have duplicate internal links. So we're going to press enter here. Let's see what happens. So you can see already it's messed up because it just hasn't given the, um, the title properly. It's messed this up. It's saying uh, image when there aren't images. But I mean, that, that's not so bad because you can just use these as placeholders and replace them with actual images. Yeah, th this content is not as good as you can see, um, but if you don't want to pay for ChatGPT4, this is a way that you can do it as well. Um, I would recommend using ChatGPT4, especially after looking at this right here. This is not that great. I just need to increase this. Oops. So I can finish. Okay, perfect. Um, but definitely, if you're going to be writing content for clients, you're going to have to make that $20 investment in my opinion you can probably get this to write decent content but it's just not going to be worth it in the long term it's going to be much quicker for you if you just pay the 20 dollars and use chat gpt4 and your clients will probably be more thankful because you will actually rank content as well so let's see if it's actually removed it looks like it has removed the duplicate internal links it seems to have removed all the links here instead of just the duplicate ones so Please leave the first instance of the duplicate links inside the article. Only remove the duplicates. Is that a word? Duplicates? Duplicates. Wow, I'm really forgetting English quickly. Duplicates. Yep, as we can see here, it's now re added the original internal links here. This is just another way to automate this, and hopefully, there won't be any crazy internal links right here. Anyway. Thank you for watching, guys. I wanted to make this video because I really think custom instructions are just changing how you can write for people. I can produce a lot of content like this. Um, it takes a lot less time, and the content is going to rank just as well anyway. So that's super, super good. And I can write about topics that I have no idea about without doing, you know, five hours of research just to understand the topic, whatever it might be, because... ChatGPT already understands the topic. You just need to give it the context of the topic. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.